what we're talking about. A match of colossal importance and one that has captured the imagination of anyone with an interest in this great game of football. Now we're truly ready for what will be a showdown. It's Crystal Palace. They face Manchester United and it's live on EA TV. And if you like an old-time football feel, this is the place for you. We're in South London at Selhurst Park. I'm Derek Ray and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Crystal Palace versus Manchester United. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Good work to win the ball back by United. And here's the Palace 11. Well, key to their success today will be the front three. If they combine well, are clever around the box and rotate their positions, they'll cause all oh, sorts of problems. Oh, hang on, Stuart. Big chance here. And he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. And over it comes. Well, not the best clearance. Rashford. Now with McTominay. And the challenge, crisp and clean. Here's Juan Bissaka. Rashford. It's with McTominay. Can he finish this? Spot on with that tackle. Munoz. On to Anderson. Not the best challenge, free kick. On to Juan Bissaka. Bruno Fernandes has it. Here's Juan Bissaka. Marcus Rashford. It's with McTominay. More than decent this from United. Bruno Fernandes. Can he give them the lead? A goal! One nil. A fully deserved advantage based on what we've seen. Well, it's great awareness of space in the box. And then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. So Palace get the game restarted. Disappointed to have conceded. Now can they come up with a quick response? Anderson. Will Hughes. Ezzy. And Hughes has it. Anderson. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? This could level it. Well, just the tackle that was needed. Oh, 
Rashford. Determined defending. Will Hughes. Jean-Philippe Mateta. Palace now in potentially a dangerous position. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Promising possession, this. McTominay. Oh, crucial tackle. Brilliant. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. And so the first half has come to an end here at Selhurst Park. And the ball moving again. Advantage United, but plenty of time for a few twists and turns here. Ezzy. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Is this the moment? Oh, good save. Yet another tremendous save to add to the list. And well, they know they need to stop him. Has the strength to hang on to it. And the referee blows for a foul. And United will switch things around personnel-wise. And fired from the flank into the area. Could still be dangerous. Well, threat averted. Bruno Fernandes has it. Well, that's the sign of a well-organized defense. But well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. And Palace have the ball again. Well, this could... And this to level it. Looking for the right angle. Oh, a vital interception. Marcus Rashford. Bruno Fernandes has it. Casemiro. This is Varane. Disappointing for United to give it away like that. Klein. Richards. And Hughes has it. Chris Richards. And into the last 20 minutes. Anderson. And Hughes has it. Will Hughes. Richards. Klein. Anderson. Attacking possibilities for Palace. Will Hughes. Well, you can sense the threat is there. The referee spotted the infringement and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Substitution for Manchester United coming off the pitch. Number 39, Scott McTominay. Just lacked a bit of conviction and straight into the wall. Victor Lindelof. Good work from Palace to win back possession. Oh. 
Well, there's still scope for late drama here. Five minutes left and just one goal between the sides. He'll take it away. He won the ball. Ayew. Richards. Jordan Ayew here. Ezzy. And Hughes has it. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. They get forward, but time is very much against them here. Can they create something? This could be the equaliser. And that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him. And that will be all. A disappointing day at the office for Crystal Palace. Stuart, where did it go wrong? Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance, hasn't he, Stuart? Well, he gave them a really hard time, didn't he? His speed of thought was excellent, and he took the winning goal so well. He was brilliant today.